Hi, my name is Justin Conway. I'm a Microsoft Excel expert, and I'm going to show you how to use nested formulas in Microsoft Excel. The reason you would use the nested formula is because you want to perform several functions, but have that data uh, all calculated and then input into one cell. So for instance, if we take a look at uh, my workbook here, this sheet, I have averages. And if I wanted to calculate how the average would be converted into a uh, actual um, alphanumeric score, uh, I would need a nested formula to perform that function. And I have one uh, installed here. So you can see, uh, I'll break down the way this uh, formula is laid out. First of all, it's called an if function that you would be using uh, to, to perform this particular nest. And so it would be equals if and then open parenthesis. Um, and let me quickly explain also, if you see all the way at the end, you see multiple end parenthesis marks. This is because uh, the way you perform a nest is housing the different bits of parentheses inside um, the one main parenthesis group. So you could see this is the first one, this is the last one, and then you have the different functions in between which are nested and, and they're all closed out with, with their uh, respective parentheses at the end. Uh, and it's color coded so that you can see this is the last formula uh, in green and this, uh, the, these parentheses are, are housed right in this area. Okay, so what you would do is um, refer to, after your parentheses, refer to the cell that you want to calculate the value. Uh, here I want to know if the value is greater than 89, and if it is, I put in a comma, and uh, that will be the value that comes next. And the value I want to display is an actual capital letter A and that'll tell me that that score uh, is actually, you know, the grade A. So um, then you want to perform your next function, which is another if value, and you want to say if the grade is greater than 79, then that person should receive a B. Uh, so it's the same as the first function, it's simply nested. Notice that there is no closed parenthesis over here, it's open parenthesis, comma, another if function, and another open parenthesis. And then once you create all of your functions going across, you close out all of the functions with end parentheses. So that's basically how to create a nested formula in Excel. Uh, my name is Justin Conway. I hope you enjoyed.